The following tutorial will show you how to activate turn signal on your Ford style tow mirrors for your 2021 and newer Ford F-150 trucks. When upgrading to Boost Auto Parts tow mirrors, you are opening yourself up to a world of over 50 custom options to choose from. Whether you want chrome caps with smoked switchbacks, black caps and clear signal and running light, or any other combination, just go to our website and build out your custom mirror in real time. You are no longer limited to what features came factory on your truck. Boost Auto Parts offers upgrade paths for premium features such as turn signal, running light, power fold, power extend, and more. Be sure to check out our online store to find all the products offered for your truck. Don't settle for stock. Boost Auto Parts has you covered. To check fitment, availability, and to purchase our products, go to BoostAutoParts.com. In the event that your vehicle did not originally have turn signal on your small mirror, you can activate it after you install your Boost Auto Parts tow mirrors, following these quick, easy steps. For this procedure, you'll need an OBD2 or Onboard Diagnostics 2 connector, a Windows computer, and the Fortscan software installed on your computer. To begin, connect the OBD2 connector to your vehicle's OBD2 port located under the dash on the driver's side. Connect the USB end of the adapter to your computer, then launch the Fortscan software. First, select the Vehicle and Interface Information menu. Then click on the Connect to Vehicle button on the bottom left of your screen. Click OK on the pop-up. For the next pop-up, select No if you already have a recorded profile for your vehicle. Forescan will now begin identifying all the modules in the vehicle and start to communicate with them. This may take a few minutes. Once Forescan has found all the modules on your vehicle, it will prompt you to create a profile for the vehicle. You may select Yes to create a profile. It will read Ready at the bottom left. Next, select the Configuration and Programming menu and click on the Configuration and Programming tab. To enable turn signal on your mirrors, we will look at the PDM and the DDM, or the Passenger Door Module and the Driver Door Module. Select PDM as Build Format and click on the Run Service Procedure icon at the bottom left of the screen. Click OK on the pop-up. Before we make any changes, be sure to first back up the factory settings to the PDM. To do this, click on Save All at the bottom left of the screen and save the file to your computer. You can revert the door module using this backup in the event something is accidentally edited aside from the turn signal line. To do this, you can simply reconfigure the door module to the as-built data from before any values were edited using your backup. Once you've created the backup, locate block 741-03-04. You will be modifying the second digit of the second block to a 1. Then, click on Write for this specific section. It's crucial that you only edit the specific values mentioned in this video. Click Yes on the pop-up. Then click OK. Cycle the ignition off, then on. Then, click on the Stop Service Procedure icon at the bottom left. Next, click on the Configuration and Programming tab at the top left of the screen. In a similar way, enter the Driver Door Module, or DDM, as built format, then click Run Service Procedure. Click OK on the pop-up. As before, back up the DDM factory settings by clicking on Save All and saving the file to your computer. You can revert the door module using this backup in the event something is accidentally edited aside from the turn signal. To do this, you can simply reconfigure the door module to the as-built data from before any values were changed using your backup. Once you've created the backup, locate block 740-03-04. Similar to the PDM, change the second digit on the second block to a 1. Then click on Write for this specific section. It's crucial that you only edit the specific values mentioned in this video. Click Yes on the pop-up. Then click OK. Cycle the ignition off, then on. 
Then click on the Stop Service Procedure icon at the bottom left. To exit, click on the Vehicle and Interface Information menu located at the top left of your screen. Click on the Disconnect from Vehicle button located at the bottom left of your screen. You may now disconnect the OBD2 connector from your vehicle. Be sure to test the turn signal to ensure it's working properly. And there you have it. Remember, you don't have to be limited by the features that came factory on your truck. Boost Auto Parts offers upgrade paths for premium features such as turn signal, running light, power fold, power extend, and more. With over 50 custom options to choose from, build out your tow mirrors exactly how you want them. Thank you for watching this tutorial. The Boost Auto Parts Ford style tow mirrors can be purchased on our website at boostautoparts.com. Boost Auto Parts also offers a wide range of parts and accessories for your truck or SUV. To stay up to date on new product releases and more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's all for now. Catch you in the next one.